Okay, so April 9th, I think today is. Uh, 9th or 10th. Um, so over here we've got the peach trees. They're just now putting on uh, fruit. The plum trees, they're just now putting on fruit, the ones that are gonna fruit. And the apple trees, they're in first pink. You're just starting to see uh, where the blooms are going to be. So I'm in different phases according to which trees we're talking about. So, so I'm going to mix up a holistic spray today, which will be a fish fertilizer, the neem oil, and the, uh, the probiotics. Uh, I'm going to throw some kelp in, on there too for the trees that have foliage which they all do now so I'll use that and I was going to use some uh, since I don't have any molasses I'm, I think I've got some uh, uh, sorghum so, so I think I'm going to throw that in there too and uh, we'll see how that goes alright so I'm not even going to worry about measuring this stuff I'm just going to eyeball it. This is the fish fertilizer. And I won't fill this bucket up. I'll probably do about two, two and a half gallons. This is the liquid kelp organic kelp this says to use one ounce per gallon so that was about right I'm supposed to shake it well which hopefully I do this is the neem oil uh, this is the one thing that's actually pest related in this spray um, this doesn't have any Ratios. I'm just gonna eyeball it. Doesn't take much. Stuff is very strong. Actually, I did have some uh, molasses, so I'm gonna use molasses. I said I was gonna use sorghum. Uh, I don't really know exactly what he said this was for, but I think it feeds the uh, the bacteria. I need to look that up. And this is the uh, SCD Bioag probiotic stuff, and this this is for the uh, the uh, bacterial elements in the uh, soil around the tree mainly really I should let's see what it says it's it's an inoculant okay okay so I've filled this bucket up about halfway if I had a whole lot more trees, I would uh, I'd mix up a larger batch. But problem for me is I probably go through a gallon spraying my trees, and then I've got all this leftover that sits, and you know it. I don't think it's helping it to sit around and. Uh, probably lose some of its effectiveness if not uh, all together so that's why I'm only making a small batch like this that way I won't have a whole lot of uh, extra that I'm not doing anything with okay so this is one of the peach trees and you can see the little fuzzies are on now in the shade Maybe now you can see 
So we've got fruit, we've got foliage. And what I'm gonna do now is soak these, uh, soak this tree foliage and fruit with the holistic spray that I just showed. Uh, this is this is a few days after petal fall, well, maybe a week or so after petal fall. And uh, I think this is first cover, according to, um, according to Michael's book, this is first cover. I've got this thing on a pretty, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, on a kind of a fanned out spray. All right, I just noticed something. And it just goes to show you, no matter how hard you try, I think that's some peach leaf curl. This tree had it last year. Um, it looked very isolated. Matter of fact, I'm gonna cut those off. But you can see something Yeah, those leaves are yellowing and curling up like that. Pretty sure that's leaf curl. I think that's bacterial. It could be fungal. I think it's bacterial. Uh, I'll look it up. There's a, there's a bad one right there. See that? See that leaf curled? See how it's curled up that way? So, doesn't look very, um, doesn't look widespread. Matter of fact, it's the only two places I see. And hopefully we can keep this down. But I think copper sulfate was the item that is uh, a treatment for that. I'm gonna spray it. That's getting a little bit. It's on it. That's for sure. Okay. Yep. There's some more. Right up there. All right. I'm gonna do this treatment. We'll see what happens. It's not quite as far along. See, right there's a, a balloon that hasn't fallen off. And it's it's about a week behind. Now, I'm not going to spray directly into these open blooms. So, there's a little fruit right there. So I'm going to be I'm going to be try, trying to I'm going to try to be a little more um, accurate about how I spray this tree than the other one. But I, I really don't think it matters. I think the fruit that are that are set are the ones that are gonna be here for the duration. Um, now, on the other hand, this pear tree, this is an Asian pear, it still has a lot of open blooms. And since I lost my second tree, I'm not 100% sure this will set fruit. It can, but I don't know how uh efficient is gonna be because it's just the, the single tree so i may not get nearly as much fruit that could have been the reason last year i can't quite remember if it was here when it bloomed or not so anyway i won't spray this tree because it's the open blooms with that neem it's gonna ward off any uh, pollinators so I'm just gonna probably spray this trunk of this tree now here's my biggest plum tree and I'm pretty excited about this one because 
it has begun to set some fruit and obviously it's full of foliage so I'm gonna really cover this tree I think it's let's see I can find one yeah see there they're hard to see right there I'm excited about that because this tree it's large enough to have fruit and it got obviously it got uh, pollinated which was my main concern but there's another tree that really bloomed here right beside it and it's setting some fruit too you can see the little fruit there I'm gonna hit this tree good birds are an issue I think at this point in time that's been worrying me I need to prune this tree but I'm not going to do it now because that will just invite uh, all kinds of um, organisms into the it's like an open door but I will cover this tree uh, very thoroughly Now I just want to show you this tree is too immature really to have any fruit but you can see that's the first pink these these are about to open they might open some of these may open today um, but you can see how far they are behind the peaches just just this first pink for them and over there we're at petal fall so this this is putting on a good bit of foliage so I, I am gonna and the flowers aren't open so I'm gonna pretty much drench these guys even though this tree is not big enough but this tree I don't know it's seven feet tall maybe it, it could possibly carry some fruit uh, doesn't have oh there's one open there's one open. The rest of them are pretty much first pink though, see? So, it's, it's strange that uh, the, the, you see the, the pink or the red and then the flower ends up being completely white pretty much. Clearly I am not a veteran apple grower. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm gonna hit this tree good and we'll see what happens with it. Feel free to chime in about these holistic sprays because I'm I'm just learning on this and I'm just going by a book that is you know an experience from somebody who's in another part of the country so this could be a lot a lot more variations than just what's written in one specific book so if you know a whole lot about orcharding in a holistic way you know, drop a comment. I appreciate everybody. We've got almost 950 subscribers now. Maybe we can go over a thousand here in the next or this upcoming year. As always, thanks for watching.